Good morning, everybody. Um, do you know, um, I have just noticed a massive cobweb. Oh, Lord. There is a massive cobweb in the corner of my kitchen window. Can you see it? I have a feeling, because I have a cleaner, she may be of the same mind as me. I don't like to destroy cobwebs. I don't mind spiders at all. I was always brought up um, to be told that it's quite a good thing to have spiders in the house because they eat flies. The pat of tiny feet. The moment I start talking to you, Myrtle thinks we have visitors. Myrtle, I'm just talking to all of our subscribers, nearly 60,000. Well, no, over 60,000. What am I saying? Over 60,000 subscribers, Myrtle. A lot of them down to you. Anyway, it is a fairly nice morning. I have a feeling autumn's on its way and we're not really out of summer, but I'm not gonna go on about that. I'm just gonna kick off having my breakfast because I would never usually film this, but the past few vlogs, people have said, please film what you eat in a day. That will be very tricky because I don't eat at home other than breakfast. I always have breakfast at home. So I'm gonna show you what I have for my breakfast. None of this is sponsored. It's not a collaboration, but these are brands that have been sent to me, two brands that have been sent to me. One I did collaborate with, but I have paid for it ever since because I love it. But I start the day with porridge. I have done that for years. This is my porridge. So where am I gonna set you up? I set you up on my um, gnome coffee table. I've got you. So yes, uh, I have some porridge. This is so basic, everybody, but um, as I'm doing this, it will let you know. Also, I'm filming this because my cleaner's just been and the kitchen's relatively clean. So, there we go. Porridge with water, not with milk. And as I'm waiting for the porridge to cook, this is what I drink every single day, Athletics Greens athletic greens every single day. You will probably remember I did a collaboration with them about a year ago, maybe over a year ago. When that ran out, the supply they sent me, I have been paying full price for this ever since, which is probably a year's, yeah, I've probably been on it for a year. It arrives like this. It's gut health. It's absolutely brilliant. So, after I've had my coffee, which I've already had, I will drink this throughout the morning. I'll try and drink it, actually, before I eat my porridge. It should be on an empty stomach. So that's my athletic greens. Into my porridge, I put fruit. Usually it's blueberries, but I love gooseberries. And these were gooseberries from the farmer's market in Marylebone. I freeze them, I've washed them, I freeze them, so that they come out individually like that. And I just pop a handful into my porridge and stir. So I mean, it's not particularly, this is not challenging, is it? But to that, I will then add my collagen. Now this I use every single day. This is collagen made by So Body Company. Never a collaboration. They sent it to me for free. Again, probably a year ago. And because it's um, a mixture of bovine and marine collagen, I believe it's brilliant. And I've actually noticed a difference in my hair and in my nails and my skin. So, but also if you think I'm doing so much to help my skin at the moment, whether it's helping my skin or not, I don't know. So I have one of these scoops and I put that. So yeah, this is, I've done my research and this for me is the best collagen. I will leave a link, again, not a collaboration. There we go, turn that off, stir it in. Can you see that? 
can you imagine me on a cookery show? There. And then I put that into my bowl. And that is how I start the day. That is my porridge with gooseberries or blueberries with my powdered collagen. And hopefully I will drink this before I eat that. Just thought I'd show you. Now let's get on with the day. This is the Riding House Cafe in Fitzrovia. It's actually on Great Titchfield Street. Gosh, it's raining. How can you believe it? It's so warm, but it's raining. Um, I always come here to meet someone very special in my life. She is my previous producer, Elisa, who started the YouTube channel, Van and a Pram. And I get so many people asking, where are they? Where is the family? Well, it became such a huge success, the van in the pram and their traveling, that they traveled to Spain and then remained there. However, she's over here at the moment because she's helping, uh, working on Woman's Hour at the BBC. So she's over for a couple of weeks and I've arranged to meet her in the Riding House Cafe. And um, she's like one of my favorite people in the world. But I'm not gonna see her husband and I'm not gonna see her son. It's just her. Uh, and I'm gonna go in because it's actually raining. Here she is. So everybody wants to know, where are you living? Well, in Spain. And that's your new home, isn't it? That's our new home. We're living in, we're in London for August. We're going back to Spain. Hunter's going back to school. He's learning Valenciano and Spanish. And yeah, we are living by the beach. And where is the van? Currently in London for sale. Anyone it's still going though, that van is still going. We went from Spain through France up to London. We spent two, another month in it, which was really nice. But it was a bit smaller this time though. What have you had? What you you've taken no. bits out? No, it just felt a little bit smaller. Yeah, because their thumbs got bigger. But it's, whenever I'm driving and I see the van like yours, I always smile to myself because I always think, my God, a whole family lived in it. That was your world for a long time, wasn't it? Oh, I know. Once it's just this. Are we going back home to the yeah. van? In fact, was that lockdown? It was lockdown. Yeah, it was lockdown. Well, we left London three days before England went into lockdown, yes. remember? And went straight to Scotland. And you were stuck up in Scotland. <laughs> anyway, she's back here in the Riding House Cafe. And do you know, this cafe was where I was at that table here with a BBC producer when they announced lockdown on the 30th of March, 13th of March, Boris Johnson. 2020 and we walked out there to silence there was no one on the streets and that was from in here apart from me <laughs> making a lot of noise say goodbye Bye. right i was going out shopping but this arrived and i wanted to talk to you about little black dresses everybody needs a little black dress this is not a collaboration this is a freebie that was sent let me move you in. So, I'm offered quite a few clothes. Lots of companies, they don't just send them, they reach out, which is a really good thing, and say, would you mind if we sent you something? And usually I say no, because you know and I know I have enough clothes to last me for the rest of my life. But something that I wear more than ever, I mean, probably the most worn garment in my wardrobe, price per wear, I'm always talking about it, is my Paul Smith black dress. This is it. I bought this in Brighton 30 years ago in Middle Street. Anyone that knows Brighton, it was when I was working for the BBC in Brighton. Um, I was hosting quite a few events. It has seen me, yes, over 30 years ago probably, it has seen me, I've had it repaired, um, I've sent it back, Paul Smith, the company sent it back to Italy to be repaired, um, the seams have been repaired so many times, I love it, I absolutely love it, 
if I had time, I will show you the, the still shots if I've got them. I don't think I've actually worn it on my YouTube channel very often. It's something I, I wear if I'm being employed, booked to do a hosting gig. Um, it's just the easiest dress to wear. But it started to fray around the neck. Now I can get that repaired, but because I've worn it so often, it is, and you can see this, it's going shiny, really shiny. I mean, it's the most fantastic material. I don't know what it is. I think it's wool with elastin and it's going shiny. And that I can't do anything about. Um, but my goodness me, has this worn the test of time. I am actually gonna show it on. I'm gonna put it on and show you why I love it so much. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what has just been sent to me because this company, Jane, reached out and they used to be Goat. I loved Goat. Goat is a luxury uh, brand worn a lot by the young royals. Um, I've got one Goat smoke, smock um, that I've worn to death, um, but I've never had a goat dress, and um, it's now called Jane. Jane Lewis is the um, brand founder, and um, they just emailed and said, would you like a dress? And I just thought, I need a new little black dress, an LBD, but they're so, you know, you know I've got lots of black dresses. This has to be a, a fitted, pencil line that I can wear with my Jimmy Choo's or my Labatan and I looked online and this I just thought I've got to I've got to ask it by me so they gifted me this all right gifted it to me I haven't tried it on I'm not even going to unwrap it I opened the end, edge of the box just to see what it was originally um, I will unwrap it with you first of all though I will show you what my Paul Smith original looks like. It's a dream dress um, and it's gonna be tricky to replace. This is the Paul Smith dress. Sometimes I have it pulled down like that. You can see it full length. But it's going very shiny here. This bit, I'm afraid, is almost transparent. It's so warm. But I just wear it with a Jimmy Choo. So yeah, I mean, it has served me well. Gosh, my hair. I love it, it's an old friend. And as I say, I've had it for 30 years, but the seat of it is now shiny. So, let's go and open the Jane dress and see if it'll be a fantastic replacement. Right, so I'm back. I've been modelling in my hallway because there's more room for you to see. Okay, so, as I say, from Jane, um, I am very, very excited. I know you're all gonna say, but Jo, that doesn't look worn out. I promise you, if you got up close, it's really shiny, like a man's shiny suit. You know, when they've been cleaned and worn too often. So, this is... Oh, wow. I love this material. So this is a beautiful crepe, which is what I always knew goat for, this lovely crepe. And, oh my gosh. So look at this, a velvet bow at the neck, velvet cuffs, a velvet, which is very flattering, waistband in that beautiful crepe and lined, lined, which the dress I'm wearing isn't lined. This is beautiful. 
I need to steam it. It is beautiful. So um, I ordered an eight. A six is probably going to be too small. I hope this is going to fit. Let me try this on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Thank you very much indeed, Jane. This beautiful black crepe velvet bow, just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My new LBD, my new little black dress. I better let Myrtle in. Good afternoon. You may well be forgiven for thinking that I am in a beautiful Royal London Park. In fact, I'll give you a clue as to where I am. Over there is a theatre that has lay Miserable. And outside, have a look. What's happening? Just have a look. What is going on outside this beautiful churchyard? I am right in the heart of Soho. This is Soho's church. Um, this is a beautiful place to come and sit. If you ever come to the theater, if you come to a matinee and you want to get a takeaway, then why not come and just sit in the grounds here? It's absolutely beautiful. It's at the back of Shaftesbury Avenue. And you may wonder what I'm doing here. I'm um, about to meet my agent in his club and his club is there. And I think he's probably watching me. I bet you anything, Nigel is watching me, saying, oh my gosh, she never stops filming her life. But I don't, but I know lots of you love it when I film in London. And um, these little gems are the places to look out for. It's just stunning. it's good to see you. I've just got back from uh, my meeting with Nigel, my agent, and um, oh, look at the state of me. Hello Mert, I'll take you out for a walk in a moment. I just wanted to um, catch up with you very, very quickly. By the way, I went to Whole Foods, Whole Foods in Piccadilly to get my supper, which are vine, cherry vine tomatoes, wonderful guacamole, and pita bread. So that will be supper, Mert, before I go into work. I'll have time to walk Myrtle. Oh, stop fiddling with your hair, Joe. Walk Myrtle, have a shower, go into work. Um, and that's what I was going to talk to you about, actually. Nigel and I, um, we had a great meeting. There are so many things that, so many exciting things that are happening with this channel and with me, and it is all very exciting. And um, I just wanted to say that when I start my new show, it will be two nights a week, um, 
on Fridays and Saturdays, which will give me so much more time to work on my YouTube, to start my chat show, or bring it back, should I say. I know the chat show, I've only done one, Tracy Sugg, which I think has 75,000 hits, which I'm really chuffed about. The situation with that is, and I've explained this to you, people keep suggesting all these names to me. I don't want to interview anyone that's being interviewed. I want to, the person that I'd heavily penciled, the person that I said to you I was so looking forward to, has got a book coming out, which means she will be doing interviews everywhere, which defeats my channel. I only want people that you will never find anywhere else doing interviews. So, you know, I love this person and I wish her the best of luck and the book will be brilliant, but it won't be right for my channel because she will be giving interviews all over. So it's a shame, but there are so many others that I've got lined up. I just need time to do it. It takes a long time because we have a professional crew. You know, everything has to be lit and mic'd and that takes ages to sort out. So when I start my new show, which is at um, in the middle of October, I'll have more time. And those are the things we were discussing, Nigel and I. Hello. Do you want to go for a walk? So, right. I'm very excited actually because tomorrow night I'm eating out before I do my show. I'm going to a very, very famous Indian restaurant on the Strand. Um, and I'm going to take you with me because you love being so shown little bits of London. And not many of you, if you love Indian food, you will love it. So I might take you there tomorrow night. But anyway, come on then. We're going out for a walk. Going out for a walk. You ready for a walk? Yes. Come on. I'm with my friend Seth. That's Flora's mother. <laughs> um, no makeup on, only so I can be ready to go to bed when I get back home. So forgive me. And Susie's seen me in this state so many times. Here is the Strand Continental Hotel. So the Strand Continental Hotel, don't Which be is fooled, also the India Club. is now the India Club. Oh, and um, it's a fantastic building. The reason we're here is so many of my friends from India have recommended this and said this is where you should come for the best curry. But Susie then tells me that it's going to close. I'm wearing a cardigan because it's about to rain. I know it's very unattractive. But anyway, let's go in fair. So that was a bit of a failure, unfortunately. Should we go to Covent Garden? Maybe go to Covent Garden? Yes, we'll find somewhere. We're starving. So that was the Leo Green band, and you can see them. I mean to tell you this, they're at the QT um, in London. Google Leo Green band, uh, Friday and Saturday night. They are brilliant. Gosh, it's raining, I've still got my cardigan on. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He always has the door open for me on a filming night. And here we are again, and one week closer to one week closer to death. That's what you said last week. <gasps> I know, you said it. last week, one week. He said, this time goes by, any more of this, one week and we'll be dead. No, no, I said a few more, if you, I said, I said, time goes so fast, so in a few more weeks and we'll all be dead. Yeah, very I, gloomy. I meant weeks as in time going so fast, but I thought, when you mentioned it to me, I thought, and I, I saw it, 
Oh, yeah, I can't believe I said that. You did. It was a bit. Are you in a needle cord jacket? I am. Well, yeah, an Italian, Italian, Italian jacket. Oh, God knows what it is. I can't. Well, I can't see what it is. But it's supposed to be. What's that label? I, I haven't got my glasses on. No, no, no. They'll be able to. They're, no doubt they'll be able to discern it. Oh, it's something, something, it's something Italian. Something ending, something ending in O. Very suave. <laughs> I know, well. Very suave. By, by my, I got it because it's got so many pockets. It's got a pocket of every, every aspect of my life. You're getting so many comments, Dave. It's, I'm almost jealous. <laughs> Guess where I was tonight? The India Club, and it was closed. Uh, I, I know. I want to, because it's closing. It's, it's, it's closing in a month, and I, we went there. We couldn't get in, because you have to book. I you better get in. It's raining. But th but this one, honestly, everybody, they were talking about it on my radio show, people calling up saying it was the best Indian food because you went there for the food, not for the decor, and it was really well priced and it was run by a family. I'm so annoyed it was closed. I might risk it and go and queue, you know, next week, but I didn't have time tonight. I could never queue for anything, to be honest. I, no, actually. I drive, I, I drive, you know, as I work nights, I, I go past all these nightclubs, and every nightclub I go past, there's a queue for people queuing for, like, when I was young, I never queued to go to that club. No! You just walk straight in. You, you walk queue, straight in. They all queue for an hour to get, I thought, to hell with that. I'm not queuing for an hour to get some silly nightclub, it's the disco music. Can you imagine? I mean, now, Going to a nightclub, they judge you on what you look like yeah. as to whether they're going to let you in or not, which um, they certainly didn't do in our day. No, in our day, just breezed in. You know? Just breezed into the marquee. Make sure you weren't what clubs did you go to in London? What, what clubs? Yeah. Well, I went to the marquee. I even performed in the marquee once. Were you in a band? Uh, yeah, I, 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 long and yes, I was. Do you know, you are such a can of worms, Dave. <laughs> Everybody says, you should interview Dave. I think he would fill up a couple of hours. You know, I find out more about Dave on this eight minute drive every single night. But listen, everybody, um, I'm going to finish the vlog here. I just wanted to say, if you want to see what happened at the dog show last weekend, um, if you want to see how Myrtle behaved, then please go to my Instagram because I put it up there. I didn't put it in my vlog. So go to my Instagram and you will find out exactly what happened at the dog show. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Um, I think that's it. I think, oh yes, um, the beautiful little black dress. I'll leave a link to um, the brand and they gifted me that. So I'm very, very chuffed. Um, I'll leave a link below and I think that's it actually um, yeah nothing else to say keep sending your walking women uh, videos and send them to this address I don't know how many we've got this week even I never know if we have any or not um, but from Dave and myself Dave yes are you off to do another job Doing one more job. I'm going to Baker you... Street to take someone to uh, West Rislip, wherever that is. West Rislip? You're not going to get home till about two in the morning. Oh, two, two thirty, quarter to three, and then I've got this staircase. Well, about He's staircase. got a staircase. He's changed hotels. <laughs> um, I'm in. Dave very seldom ever sees me in makeup because I take all my makeup off so that I can just get into bed, take Myrtle out, get into bed. That's it. Me done. Say good night, Dave. Bye, good night, see you next week. Subscribe, everybody. Tell them to subscribe, Dave. Yeah, if I, if I can subscribe, you definitely can. Exactly. Subscribe, please. Bye now. Bye.